so we're moving on to the tips on the uh, on the patent tank and in the tip sh diorama sheet by Shepard Payne he's I wish this was in color but uh, he's looking at a, a Vietnam era diorama here you get some Marines here with the 30 caliber machine gun walkie-talkie and uh, he painted them up as Marines which I'm assuming they are the the monogram models However, he's modified them to look like Marines in Vietnam. Uh, you've got the tank commander right there with the flak jacket and all the neat stuff that goes with it. So that's the um, that's the tips on the on the patent tank. So that's pretty neat. Uh, next, we're moving on to the. M3 Lee right there and uh, I don't think I I don't think I have the tips for this one but you get these two gentlemen here and they are 32 one thirty second scale they're really big um, I will show you so we're looking at the Lee tank right so we're gonna open up the Lee tank and we're going to show you the size of these guys. So here we have the Lee. And then if you look at these, these commanders. And you put them here. And look at the size. Right? That's the size of of these guys here which very very close very close to that but these are the scale the 135th scale that you get so the we the figures are a little bit taller than what they need to be so you also get that with the screaming Mimi Sherman as well um, it is what it is right guys so I guess they were having issues and their 148 scale, one, uh, 135, 132nd. And I guess Tamaya, when Tamaya came out, they came out with some really good kits. I remember the first kit that Tamaya came out with was the Tiger One. And it was like, it was like a dream to get that thing. But I guess they all kind of went with the 135th scale vehicles because to my you know 172nd and 176 and then 135 132 148 so those are your main scales there um also in every monogram kit you got one of these brochures with the armor series uh, which was pretty cool so it was a little folded doohickey which which came in with your monogram model and and it gave you Oh yeah, all the vehicles that were in the armor series. So you've got the infantry, the armored half track, anti aircraft. You got the jeep with the anti tank gun. You got the personnel carrier, the half track. You got the two and a half ton truck and the weasel. And then you had the Panzer Kampf wagon, the patent tank, the flak Panzer, the st um, the Stug, the Lee, the Grant, the Stump Panzer, and the Panzer Yaga. So, do I have the Panzer Yaga? No, I actually don't. I do not have the Panzer Yaga. That's what I got. So I have to find the Panzer Yaga. So I got this one on order right now. That's coming. The Jeep is coming. And what you don't have in this brochure is the Screaming Mimi. So that's what we're looking at, guys. Now, um... Books. I'm going to show you books. There, there are three cool books that I think you should pick up. And uh, this is Shepard Payne's How to Build Dioramas, which is an awesome book. It's by, this is, it's by Colmac Books. Uh, 24 bucks, I think. I'm not sure if this is, this second edition, 
$19.99. So you should be able to still find this on eBay and but it's it's got some really really good dioramas here ideas on how to build stuff and um it looks like a tamaya but i just um let me put you down for a second because i just went by something that i thought would be cool to show you oh there's screaming mimi look that's that's the monogram that's what he did for screaming mimi right there right um And there, there you go. There, there's the Oswind right there from Monogram. There's your your carrier, your anti-aircraft carrier right there. Um, the half track, right? You got the Panzer Kampf wagon right there. It's in black and white. All right, let's see what else we got. What else we got in here? I mean, he's got he's got all this is this book is well worth it it really is if you can find this book guys grab it um because it's got it's got some really cool pics in here it really does you should grab this if you get a chance and then there's this one uh another one by uh shepherd Payne on how to uh it's modeling tanks and military vehicles and this is by another comeback books this is a 12 bucks and um what's the uh there's the isbn number right there if you need that and this again is showing you how to just play around with your tanks and stuff and make some pretty cool models dioramas yeah so it is some neat stuff here so these are pretty good books that you want to pick up. And then I also picked up this book here, which is um, Monogram Models by Thomas Graham. It gives you a history of Monogram and everything that goes with it, which is pretty neat. Aircraft. Oh, that's one snap kit that I cannot find. That one right there. So then you have all this neat stuff. There's the M8 Greyhound and the M20 Greyhound both white boxes right so I do have the M20 white box there but I have the 80s um, blue box there so I'm not sure if that goes with the armor series but I don't know if I don't know I, I just don't know we got the B17 you get the stamp tight you get the Patton and the Tiger one which are 148 scale which are pretty cool and it shows you all kinds of if you're into cars and stuff like that and all dragsters and, and you got your aircraft your ships snoopy aerocoba pretty neat stuff more planes and cars there's your armor series the flag panzer you know um pretty neat stuff so i'd be looking to get this book this monogram models book they do have one on revel as well uh, you got model tanks here, and you've got how to do dioramas. And I think that's about it, guys. I think I've covered about, just about what I have so far. So now it looks like I need to get a, a Panzer Yaga. Uh, I've got the Jeep coming in. I've got the Grant coming in. And I've got the Screaming Mimi coming in. And uh, I don't know if I want to get the M8 in the white box, but we'll see. I don't know if it belongs to the armor series because they all have armor series written on a box except for the armored cars. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I did get my new issues of Toy Soldier Collector. Uh, let me show you. Oh, let me uh, let me show you a couple of books that are pretty cool. And I think you might enjoy. And that is. Um, This book right here, Battle of the Bulge, and it has a lot of. Uh, oh, this one's broken, so let's get the, let's get the one that's not broken. So this one here is about the Battle of the Bulge, and it's got the monogram, right? Look it, here he is. 
Ain't that cool? That's him right there. So you have the Lonely Sentry in the Ardennes. You got your walkie talkie, right? You got him going. So we have him. You got the Jeep, right? Your machine gunners. So these are all monogram, these are all little monogram models here. Right there, right here. Um, the Germans are different because monogram really didn't do too many Germans, so I don't know where these Germans came from. But you've got the Germans there, here. You've got some German tanks there. I'm trying to figure out where these tanks came from. You've got some, looks like, uh, lead soldiers. Germans marching. These are definitely monograms. I don't know what these are, but I don't know if they're, they're King Tigers. So they could be those um, kind of like BMC. Though BMC wasn't making them at the time, but they do look. It looks like a, a Panzer Jager or a Hetzer. You got the 50, 155 cannon, which is probably uh, Ravel. And you get some monogram Shermans there. You got these right here. I don't know what company made those, but they're there. They do look like toys. It could be FX, right? And you got, of course, you've got the two Shermans, which are probably uh, Revels uh, Sherman. Or the Screaming Mimis without the rockets. Two and a half ton trucks, Jeep, motor carrier. So these are definitely uh, monograms. Yeah, pretty cool. So I remember getting this book in the library when I was a kid. And uh, I was fascinated by it. And this is what they call the Great Battles of History. They have this one about the Battle of the Bulge. They have this one, Gettysburg. And they have this one here, Trenton. So I picked a, these up on eBay. My original book, as you know, is this one here. And time was not kind. So she fell apart. But I still have it. So those are, those are three cool books. And then, of course, I was telling you about the Remembering Rebel Model Kits, which is um, Thomas Graham also did this book as well. And this has all the Rebel models in here and tells you the history of Rebel and Monogram Rebel as well. So it's pretty neat. So I suggest grabbing those books and... Uh, not too bad. All right, guys. I guess that's it for this, uh, this video, and I'll let you know what we're doing next. All right? You guys have a good one. Take care. It's a crazy world out there. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Ciao.